BMJ Best Practice is a clinical decision support tool, uniquely structured around the patient consultation, with advice on symptom evaluation, test to order, and treatment approach. If you have access via your organisation, you will be presented with this pop-up on your first visit to the site. This is to register for a personal account. It takes less than a minute and will enable you to use these registration details to download the award-winning BMJ Best Practice app for free, get CME or CPD certificates for your time spent on best practice and access best practice from anywhere. Our navigation makes finding the information you need easier than ever. Our enhanced search functionality ensures you get the answers you need quickly, every time. And our new site design features a browse bar highlighting the wealth of information available to you. Best practice is updated daily and recent updates on all topics can be found here. If you are interested in a specific specialty, you can browse content from 32 specialty areas. Best practice contains over 250 interactive evidence-based calculators. You can browse and search calculators here or access them from within a topic or condition. And there are nearly 400 evidence-based patient leaflets available to support shared decision-making. Short videos showing how to perform common practical procedures have been added to best practice. Best practice is rigorously evidence-based, supported by over 6,500 practice guidelines, more than 65,000 references, and the opinion of more than 4,000 expert authors, contributors, and peer reviewers. We have also partnered with Cochrane Clinical Answers to support decision-making at the point of care. You can search for drug information directly from this page or link to drug databases from the treatment section of conditions. But for most people, their journey begins with search. Let's look at a clinical scenario, managing acute exacerbation of COPD. Ben, a junior doctor, is asked to examine a 78-year-old man who has come into the acute medical unit with increasing shortness of breath, wheeze and mild chest pain. Ben has come from a psychiatric rotation and wants to check how to manage what could be the exacerbation of this man's COPD. Best practice supports searching in over 100 languages. Search is focused around conditions, but you can also search by symptoms or drugs. As soon as Ben starts to type, AutoSuggest steers him quickly to the information he is searching for. Search results are clearly displayed in order of relevance, with links that jump directly to sections of interest, for example investigations. Ben can also filter by images and video. On the right-hand side, Key information is shown for the COPD topic, including images, differentials, test to order and management. Ben clicks the title to jump directly into the COPD topic. Information in best practice is highly structured with a unique horizontal navigation that follows the path of a patient consultation. A last reviewed and last updated date is displayed on each topic so that you can be confident you have the very latest information at your fingertips. Practice changing updates are clearly flagged and summarised with links to the original evidence source. Here Ben can see that there is updated international guidance on diagnosis, treatment and prevention of COPD. The bullet point summary states that inhaled steroids are only recommended with further exacerbations if already on long-acting bronchodilators. As Ben is not sure of key diagnostic factors, he clicks History and Exam. Next, Ben visits differentials to check he is not missing anything in the history, for example, congestive heart failure in addition to COPD. The differentials table is laid out so Ben can see at a glance the signs, symptoms and investigations if necessary. Next, he clicks Investigations to check first-line tests to order. To decide how best to treat the patient, Ben looks at the treatment algorithm for acute exacerbation and identifies his patient as only being on a short-acting bronchodilator. So he looks at systemic corticosteroids. In the expanded section, Ben can clearly see the dose of pregnisolone or methylpregnisolone needed. 
Ben scrolls to check the effectiveness of treatment. By clicking the Cochrane Clinical Answer icon, he can see recommendations on the strength of evidence and full outcome data. Ben checks management guidelines to reassure himself that he is following the latest guidance. To make sure he has information to give to the patient, he downloads a patient leaflet on COPD. And Ben uses the leaflet to explain to the patient and his wife what COPD is and how to manage the condition. All the time Ben has spent using best practice on the website and app has been automatically recorded and he can download and print certificates for proof of his continuing professional development. If you would like to find out more about BMJ Best Practice, get in touch or visit bestpractice.bmj.com.